bioconcept. From plants to plastics. Bioconversion and separation technology. Emma and Ben are in the supermarket today. While paying, Emma asks, do you know what plastic bottles in your sunglasses have in common? Ben has no idea. So Emma explains that both products are generally made from oil, but they can also be made from plant residues. These are bioplastics. Ben is curious what these plant residues might be. Emma is a young scientist developing bioplastics made from plant residues in the Bioconcept project. To know more, the next day Ben joins Emma in the lab. There are two types of ingredients for second generation bioplastics. The straw from corn or grain and wood chips, but also non-edible oils and fats from plants. These ingredients are called second generation biomass because they cannot be eaten. Let's start with the plant residues. For example, wood chips. They have to be pre-treated first. Wood mainly consists of sugars, of sugar chains. These chains are connected to more sugar chains. This makes them very complex, and that's why they cannot be used yet. We need the single sugar molecules. The connected chains have to be broken up into single sugars. This step is called pre-treatment. The next step is the bioconversion. This is the sugar again, the pre-treated sugar which you know from the first step. And this is a microorganism. The microorganisms are hungry and they like sugars, sugar molecules. What happens? The bioconversion takes place in the microorganism, resulting in chemicals. And right, these are the chemicals we need for the bioplastics production. All these reactions happen in a small bioreactor in the lab. The bioconversion of plant residues into chemicals is completed. At the same time, a partner in the Bioconcept project works with oils and fats which cannot be eaten. They do not have to be pre-treated first. Other microorganisms are needed here to produce different chemicals. The chemicals for the bioplastics are produced, but they are swimming in a mix together with the microorganisms. How do we get them out of there? Separation is the key word. The chemicals we need have to be separated from the rest of the liquid. For each chemical, there is the optimal separation method. Separation methods are, for example, heating up. This is also known as distillation. The chemicals evaporate, condensate, and are collected. Another method to separate the chemicals from the mix is to cool them down. The chemicals form solid crystals. This is crystallization. These are again the chemicals for bioplastics production. With a filter, they are then removed from the mix. Crystallization and distillation are just two of many separation methods to get our chemicals. These are the chemicals for the bioplastics production, made from second generation biomass. To make or get many bioplastic products, the chemicals have to be produced by the industry. But the reactions from the lab are not always the same as in the industry. Therefore, they have to be scaled up for testing on medium size. After that, the industrial companies produce the chemicals. These chemicals are tested and prototype products developed. The final products will be Emma's plastic bottle, Ben's sunglasses, but also washing powder, cosmetics, and many other things. Soon Emma and Ben can buy plastic bottles, sunglasses, and other products which are made from second generation biomass. Bioconcept, from plants to plastics, developing a sustainable way to convert second generation biomass into valuable chemicals for bioplastic production. The Bioconcept project is a 13 million euro collaborative project funded under the European Commission's seventh framework program. 29 partners from 13 European countries are represented in the project consortium and consists of research and technology institutes, SMEs, and large industrial companies. The project is coordinated by TNO Delft, the Netherlands. Bioconcept, from plants to plastics.